Hey KU, you, YouTube, Maisie here. Now, I'm just going to show you um, turning on the new inverters. Um, thank you very much, Jeremy, for um, helping me work out how to put these in parallel mode. There's a slight trick to it, but anyway, I'll see if I can get the screen up. So you can read it. So basically, to put them in parallel, you hold the button down for three or five seconds, and it goes through to there. So you go, I think, down. We go to... Parallel mode, 28, see? Basically, this one's the master, so it's already in parallel. So you put it on parallel, and you have to press enter, uh, and then the trick is to turn the off and on button off and on. Uh, and then it goes into parallel. So this one's already set. Yeah, me, thank you to Jeremy. I'll link his channel. But basically, yeah, I've got them all set up, ready to turn on. So this is probably the second time YouTube I'm turning them on. So you wait till that one fires up. And then you just go through and uh, turn them on. They're all firing up. And uh, yeah, a little bit of a trick. So that one's on parallel mode, and that one's the the master. And I've got it linked through one of these little black boxes to my computer desktop, and I can control it. But yeah, yeah, they all fired up. Cool. Okay, YouTube, going to make the uh, update on the MPP Solar, or as they're classed in Australia. Um, giant batteries now I'll have to find out if giant batteries will send me a couple of uh, red covers so mine look hot and sexy as well so basically they've been running for a couple of days now um, they seem to run fine at the moment I'm pulling about 20 amps out of them there's my thing so I've got them all wired up. The electrician put a couple of plugs so I can plug them into my big generator if we have problems. Um, so yeah, they seem to be working fine. Just as I turn the camera off, the air conditioner must have kicked in inside. Put load dropped off, couple of loads. Off grid, grid meter going around pretty quick. Isn't that nice? I've got to pay, for, pay myself for my own electricity. Wow, that's a big one. So now we're pulling, I'd say about 35 amps out of them. They sound a little bit like aeroplanes. So yeah, they seem to be performing pretty good. Let's go inside and see what uh, Charlotte and the wife's doing with the air conditioner loads and stuff. Okay, we're outside. that nearly 110 and about 44 and a half out here so it's pretty warm pretty sunny solar trackers tracking solar panels are cooking in the sun yeah Charlotte's here watching a bit of television under the solar powered air conditioning let's see what sort of temperature it is inside hey Charlotte got the thermometer ooh you're nice 24 degrees in here while it's hot outside eh? cool hey look we got plenty of toys for her yeah she's playing with a glove blown up hello Charlotte Okay, we also got tea cooking running on off the off grid inverters. Just spinning around a bit of lamb. Also running the air conditioner in the office. Okay, I've got the inverter on this computer screen, the classic on that computer screen, and the grid tie where the excess goes to. Alright, so yeah. It's all working fine. I've got this one set so it, um, we're running 
off the batteries but the grids there so um, I've got the battery voltage set down here so basically I have to open the other page to show you that so I've got the inverter set that's over in it on this screen basically I've got the inverter set solar only um, solar batteries then utility I've got it set to um, go back to grid when the batteries get to 49 volts um, and then you know um, if it's on grid um, I've got it set for 54 volts before it goes back to batteries and down here I've got 47.8 to actually shut it down because I've got a slight voltage drop under load surges uh, with the batteries being so far away so yeah they seem to work pretty good alright YouTube sorry about taking so long to make the video and put it all together I've done it over a couple of days while I've had a minute alright bye bye YouTube